Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be, you guessed it, a Hot Wheels theme painting. Now, when I came down here to the studio, I, I kind of was like, I'd, I'd like, I'm kind of in the mood to paint, but then it was getting late. And then it was like, I got a piece I need to resin because I have a show Saturday. Today is Thursday evening. So I need to get a resin tonight. So it'll be ready by Saturday. And so even though I've already got like 30, over 30 Hot Wheel type themed paintings to take with me to this show, I don't know if it's going to be a big show or not. Um, if you're in the area, well, this probably, this video, yeah, this video will be out. No, it won't be out by the time. But anyway, um, I don't know if it's going to be a big show or not. It's, it's a fundraiser. It's actually a fundraiser at a elementary school for a, a young kindergartner with leukemia. And uh, so I'm not sure how successful the show is going to be by um, a lot of people coming, uh, you know, the traffic wise. So I don't know if it's going to be a successful show or not. It's the first time I've done it and it, done this event. I don't know. I, I think it was their third year, maybe. I'm not sure. I could be mixing that up with other events I, I take a look at. <clears throat> but, uh, and I've never done one in uh, this town. It's in New Palestine, uh, Indiana. And I'm, I've been there a number of times, but I've just never done a, an event there in their town. And it's only about... I don't know, 35 minute drive, 35, 40 minute drive from my home. So it's not too far away. Um, we have some friends that live there. And, uh, so we, I don't mind going, going through, going down there. And, uh, I've gone through there many times going to other events in, in the, the Southern Southeastern part of Indianapolis. So with that being said, I'm going to do, I, I decided to go ahead and do a painting, even though it's, it's late, I'm going to do a simple one. And what I mean by simple is I'm hoping it's just a, a simple sleek one. And I saw a post on uh, one of the acrylic sites I'm on with a black and white, uh, pour and it, and I've done black and white pours before. And I just thought it was so elegant. It was, it looked so great. And I thought, well, why can't I do, why don't I do a black and white, uh, just a black, plain black and white little Hot Wheels pour. So I found a car that's kind of black and white. Now this is actually black and silver. It has a little bit of red on it, but it's got the flames on it. Silver flames, but it's still kind of looks whitish. And then it's got the red stripe on the back. So I'm going to add just a touch of red just to give it a little bit, but it's mostly going to be black and white. Now I've got my paints mixed. So all I have to do is uh, adjust the camera and we can get going. But my my paints, the brands of paints I'm using are Artist Loft White, Artist Loft Black, and Artist Loft Red. So those are the three colors we're going to use. It's going to be a white background with uh, the black and just a touch of red in there. I'm not going to put a whole lot. I just want a little bit as a like a little bit of an accent to it and just just not a whole lot. I don't want it overpowering. I want it to be more of the black and white with just that hint of color of red. So, let's get started on it. Okay, as you can see, I've got the white paint down already. I just torched it to get the bubbles out. So, I got my black paint in here. And then I got my a little squirt bottle of red that we're going to use a little bit of but uh we're going to start right here and i do want a lot of black paint in here and i'm not going to take it all the way out the back but use up all my black paint See what that does we might need to add a little bit more but we'll see
So we have our car right there. I get it about right there. All right, I think that's a little bit more red than I was actually planning on it, but I think it still looks good. And then I did the, just the fire type effect on the red and not out on like I usually do out on the, the color. So I think that worked pretty good. So then I'll place the car about right there. That'll be a good piece. And we'll be able to that resin gets on there. Let me get some of that black off of there. All right. 
when this thing dries, we'll be able to resin it and we'll have a nice looking piece. All right, this one is dried. Um, it shifted a little bit, lost some red down in here, but it still looks pretty cool, especially this, I mean, this area kind of looks like fire, but so it's still going to come out good. I think I'm going to put the car like at an angle like this. instead of straight on. So I think that's about where we're gonna go. So I've got the back of this taped off and time to resin. So I'm using Pro Marine resin. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. <clears throat> so that means I'm using seven ounces of total resin, three and a half the hardener and three and a half the epoxy. Now, as I've stated in pretty much all my other videos, I use Art Resin Calculator to figure up the amount of ounces that I'm going to need because you don't want to mix too little and you don't want to mix too much because then you're just wasting resin. And as you know, resin is not the cheapest thing. It's not the most expensive thing, but it's not real cheap either but I will say that since I've started resining the majority of my pieces that my selling my art I've sold a lot more of my art, my more of my bigger pieces. When I had, when I was just using the gloss enamel to spray on them, I had some really great big pieces, and they didn't really sell all that well, even though they were, even though the pieces were really really nice, people just wouldn't buy them as fast and as often as they do now with resin. And I do believe that the resin really takes the takes it to the painting to another level. So in this artist's humble opinion, I'd say resining your pieces will really help you in sales, I believe. Because I've shown people that have made comments on the, the resin, I've shown pieces that I still have that don't have resin on them, and I said, this is why I resin them, and this is, this is the difference. This is resin, this is not. And they're like, oh yeah, well you can tell the difference. And so, I don't, I, I can't say that I resin 100% of my pieces, but I, it's really high up there. The majority of them I do now are, are resin. And I did one for, I did a 12 by 12 not too long ago. And I, I did a uh, spray gloss enamel on it. And then I ended up not resining it. And I had a show, actually I had a show yesterday. Well, it seems like it was not yesterday, but it was yesterday. And it sold. even though it wasn't resin. I sold a couple other pieces that weren't resin. So not everything I sell is resin, but then again, I sold a lot that were resin. So I sold a lot more that were resin than weren't resin. I think I only sold the two that, no, three 12 by 12s that were not resin.
smell something in there. <clears throat> all right, I think I got pretty much all that blown out, all the bubbles. We'll go quick over it real quick again here. We'll go to set the piece in, set it right there. All right, there you have it. I do kind of like them not going in as just a straight line uh, every now and then and doing some at an angle that kind of shows uh, the motion kind of adds to the emotion effect <clears throat> not emotion the motion effect so so there you have it um, if you like this video hit the like button leave a comment let me know what you think and as always if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe help my channel out and thank you for watching